So my daughter has a dream years ago, Hannah, and in the dream, it's for me. She says, you know, she said, I said, Dad, I had this dream. And in the dream, you and Mom were taking me to college. She was still, in, she was, I think she's only, you know, 14, 15, I don't know. But, but in the dream, she was going off to college, and we were taking her. So then she said, they gave me my room assignment. And they told her what building she would be staying in. And then she said, Dad, this was really interesting, but they didn't give me a number for the floor I was on. They gave me a color. And they said, you will be on the gray floor. And she said, I don't know what that's all about. I said, I do. Because I've been studying the word for elder in Hebrew. So the word in Hebrew literally means uh, gray hair. So that became the word for an elder. So I said, you are staying. And, 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 and it symbolized uh, in Hebrew, wisdom. So I said, because I'd been studying wisdom and elders, and I'd found all this out recently. So, you know, God had set me up for this. So I said, you were on the floor of wisdom. She's, oh, uh, you know, she's a teenager. Girl. She's, oh, that's cool, you know. <laughs> she said, and then they gave me my room number. She said, I remember it very clearly, very distinctly. 601. She said, I don't know what it means. It was 601. I said, I know what it means. Because I'd also been studying the word revelation. And I said, in Strong's Concordance, 601 is the number of the word revelation. Actually, 601 is reveal, the verb to reveal, the verb form, the noun form, 602, revelation. I said, you are on the floor of wisdom in the room of revelation. Then the scene changed and we separated in the dream and she said, then when I went to go to my room, so I said, better knock before I go in. And when I opened the, when somebody opened the door, and it was you, Dad. You were in my room. <laughs> and she said, in the dream, she said, oh, Dad, sorry. I thought this was my room. And I said, it is your room. I've been staying here, but I'm going to give it to you now. <laughs> and God started talking to me about these two. And he said, the bigger context is wisdom but every floor of wisdom must have a room of revelation and every room of revelation must be built on the floor of wisdom and then he started telling me a lot of things it's I don't have time to go into it. Probably don't need to. She says, it's revelation that makes your wisdom relevant. But if you don't have wisdom, you don't know what to do with this relevant revelation. So I started saying, Lord, Teach me to walk in, to have a heart that can move in wisdom and give me a hearing ear to hear what you are saying to the church today. And when I can no longer do that, just take me home. pray over you and then 
hand this. I'm going to do one more thing. After I pray over you, I pray over one person. I think just one. And then probably just leave because I'm getting hungry. I don't know about you. <laughs> probably wisdom to go eat, would No, that's revelation. <laughs> revelation is what you feel here. Wisdom is knowing where to go get it. So, Lord, we want to be fresh wineskins. When this, when this movement hits full speed, we don't want to be left out. We don't want to be so hardened into yesterday's mold that we can't handle the new. We don't want the Messiah to walk our streets and sit in our homes and bump into us for three years and us not recognize him. What we cried out for and what as a nation looked for for hundreds of years and when he showed up, we missed him. Lord, we don't want to be those that cry out for revival when it comes. Miss it because it's sloppy and messy and didn't look like what we wanted or were comfortable with. Teach us your ways, but also help us to clearly hear your voice. Take the apostolic and prophetic anointings to new levels in our, in our uh, meetings, in our hearts, in our gatherings. And Lord, give us, <clears throat> give us great wisdom to build. Give us revelation for war. Give us revelation to know what you're saying. Give us wisdom to know how to do it. Give us revelation to stir things up. Give us wisdom for stability. Give us revelation so we can walk in your gifts. Give us wisdom so we can also learn your ways. Word and spirit. Because absolutely new wine is coming. New wine is coming. 